Hey, what's up YouTube? It's your boy SK Visions and today we have another video for you guys. Today I'm joined by my model, Grace. And um, of course we only use the best over here. Today we're gonna be showing you guys how to shoot in harsh light. And we're gonna be using the main key light the universe ever gave us, the sun. All right, so we're gonna be using a reflector today. Well, actually, I'm gonna open the reflector. This is a five-in-one reflector, and inside comes a single layer of diffusion. So we're gonna be using the diffusion today to use as our source of diffusing the light. You could use a lot of different things, but this is what I'm gonna be use, using today. Um, I was gonna drag the big 12 by 12 scrim out here, but we decided not to. So, um, Roger, if you wanna help me. Oh, by the way, you can find this on Amazon. The prices are like eight to $25. And I'm also gonna link this fabric that we actually made out here, well, back here, back in my studio. Um, this ranges around $35 to something, maybe $40 and we just painted it pink and just add texture. So, yep, that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna have Roger holding this close to the model so that I can get good light on the backdrop and good light on her. The sun is pointing this direction. So again, sun is gonna go through. It's gonna diffuse the light on her so that I don't have harsh shadows. It is very important that we have a good team good makeup artist, good hairstylist. Because the makeup is so good, it will require less editing, which is perfect for me because I'm lazy. All right, so I am just gonna have my settings as if I just put my camera out of my bag and I'm gonna take a test shot to see where we're at. All right, so this is my first test shot. So to be honest, wow, this is actually perfect. <laughs> Well, let me let me give a different scenario. <laughs> I'm gonna put my ISO like 400 or something. I'm gonna take a test shot right here. Wow, still good. Um, I guess I cannot miss. <laughs> but anyways, my settings that I'm gonna use today, I am gonna drop my ISO lower because the higher your ISO, the more grain you'll get in your images. Even though it's at 400, it won't be a lot, but I don't shoot above 100 unless I am indoors or at night. I always keep my ISO so I can get the best quality. Um, I'm gonna go for an aperture 4.0. I'm gonna lower my aperture or increase my aperture if you wanna call it that way, to four. And right now my shutter speed is one over 125. I'm gonna go probably like 320. And I'm gonna take a test shot. All right, good. Uh, it actually, actually looks like what I just took, which is okay. That's my sweet spot for today. So Grace, I'm gonna start real quick, so. Just give me grace things, which is greatness. All right, I am not using a flash today. I've been showing you guys a lot of flash and in studios to decide, decided to just come outside today. The sun feels nice. I'm wearing my jacket, I feel good. Look at, yes. This is very inexpensive. Again, the reflector ranges around what, eight to fifteen dollars, eight to twenty-six dollars. So, very inexpensive. You could grab your model, depend on the camera you have. Well, it don't even depend on the camera you have. Most cameras can do what I'm doing right now. Just so grab your makeup artist, grab your model, and go shoot. All right, I'm gonna do a couple close-ups. Yes. The reason why I'm using F4 is because I want my background to be a little bit blurry. Even though she's close to the backdrop, I could take her away from the backdrop, but I decided not to. Yes. And she's giving me a lot of expression. 
so that I can create these amazing images for you guys. Again, I do not like to shoot above ISO 100. Are you good? I feel sorry for my boy Roger. He has to hold this. You could use a C-stand and some clips to hold this for your model. Come over a little bit, Roger. Yeah. And up a little more. Yes. Actually, hold it a little bit. Yep, right there. But he's strong, guys. I taught him well. Yes. Keep it right there. Look away like that again. All right. Normally, I would say to cut out ambient light in studio, of course. But we are outside and we're shooting with no flash, so there's no need to cut out ambient light. We actually need the ambient light. Yes. Again, Grace is doing great things right now for me. Yeah. The reason for this backdrop also is because I just wanted to add a little bit more texture rather than using a plain backdrop. I just wanted something to go with the hair and the makeup itself. And I decided I have something laying around in the studio. Might as well just use it. All right. So Grace, I'm gonna ask you to use your hands a little more. Yes. Yes. Just like that. I'm using a Canon R6 today, as always. I have my Tamron 70 200 millimeter lens. You could use your 50, you could use whatever you have for this. A lot of lenses come at f4, so I'm shooting at f4 for you guys. You could go down to 1.2, 1.4, but try to adjust your ISO, try to adjust your shutter speed. You should be good to go. All right, do a couple more. Hold it up a little bit, Roger, just a little bit. Your hands tired? Cap. Yes, Grace. All right, get rest because my arms are tired too. Um, but that's it. You guys don't need lights. You guys don't need anything to be honest. You just need your camera, some diffusion. If you don't need diffusion and you're going for a hard light, then do that. You don't really need a lot of equipment to go out and create. So. If any questions, leave it in the comment section below. I'm gonna tag my boy, D underscore bacon boy, as my videographer and everybody that is a part of this, I'll leave them in the link, not in the link, I'll leave them in the description below. So thank you, see you next time.